coaching is a only a part of the program of developing talent, especially as it relates to sport. You see, and I know we have a little bit of time to so we're on this. I want to explain to you the um, understanding what's the process that we're going to be driving to develop sporting talent. When you're competing in sports, you're not just competing in your village or your town or your community in sports. You're, you're competing against the world because <clears throat> sports is a business. It's not just a pastime. It's not something that we love doing. It's not something that uh, people do just to take them away from antisocial behavior. It is a pastime. It is all of those things, but it's also a business. And we have a lot of talent here in Guyana. There's a lot of people who, who young kids that don't just want to grow up to be Shivnarayan Chandrapal or Ramnare Sarwan or the, the um, player Chris, Christopher Barnwell, whoever. They want to grow up to be Kobe Bryant. They want to grow up to be Messi. They want to grow up to be all kinds of different sports that being able to play at the top level. How do you do that? We have to drive the, the, the development of talent um, by the, the science of developing talent. That's why when I started off, I said that tournaments is going to be an integral part of the process of widening the pool so that we can get more people participating in competitive sport. So that's the starting point. Second, when you go to, uh, when you are able to identify talent coming out of the, one second, when you're able to identify talent coming out of those tournaments, you then pair them up into the elite programs. The elite programs then is where you see the engagement of the, the facilities, the real kind of world class or the higher level kind of facilities. But the facilities alone and the access to the facilities alone, that doesn't help to take your talent from whether it's a good or above average into the level of great. What it requires as well is a program. And a program is where coaching comes in. What I have done already is that I've started to engage with um, the ambassador for China, the ambassador for India, the ambassador for uh, the United Kingdom or the High Commissioner for the United Kingdom um, and one other. And what we have started to discuss, oh, in Cuba, what we've started to do is to discuss how do we get coaches from there into Guyana and how do we get our coaches trained on their programs so that when they come here, when their coaches come here or our co coaches go there, get trained and come back, they then participate and implement the elite training programs that can take their game up to the next level. Because the, the, the jump between being a good talent and a great talent is huge. It's huge. And the market, the sports market, which operates, as I said, as a business, they don't reward the just good talent. They reward the great talent, and they're competing on a global basis. And um, the programs, facilities alone can't do it. The programs have to exist to be able to drive uh, that talent into the level of being great so that we can look at the television someday and look at those young people who have gone on there and they have become world-class and world-class champions and get Olympic medals. And that is where we want to be.